Do you want to keep your stinking garbage cans clean without frequently washing them? Then keep watching. We all use garbage bags of some kind or the other to line our waste containers. This prevents filthy bins and saves us from another thing to clean in the home. But when we dispose of these bags, along with other waste materials in our curbside garbage cans, everything gets packed and being thin, these bags get squished and tear, getting yucky stuff all over the bin. This attracts flies, causes maggots, which is everyone's nightmare, and attracts pests and critters. Washing out and keeping your trash cans clean has become a frequent chore. So what's the solution? Well, we know bags work, but most of the bags we find in store, like the 13 to 55 gallon garbage bags, do not fit our large outdoor trash cans. They do not go over the mouth of the smaller 35 gallon garbage bin, making it kind of obvious it's not going to fit in the 65 gallon cart. and certainly not in the larger 95 gallon container. So how do we use everyday bags that we find in the market to keep all our yucky stuff contained inside our large outdoor weedy bins to prevent maggots and painful washes while making disposing of waste easy? The answer to that question is baggies. Baggies is a patent pending collapsible holder that secures any type of bag in your bin. It's made of steel and easily supports heavy loads. It stays in place to keep all your messy waste confined. The open pocket or space makes it easy for you to dispose of items that do not need to be bagged. You can move baggies to the side of your bin to make disposing of bulky items like delivery boxes and other recyclable products easier. This is a convenient way to separate waste while making sure that diaper, pet and food waste does not contaminate items that can be repurposed into new products or end up in a landfill emitting greenhouse gases. To separate different types of waste, you can also add another unit which sits firmly in the bin and does not block or prevent the lid from sealing and stays in place even when the bin is moved or shaken. If you want a larger opening, the large baggies unit is perfect. It's about the size of an extra large pizza box and is 17 by 16 inches with a 23 inch wide diameter. It sits perfectly in place and does not obstruct the shutting of your lid. And sits in place even when shaken or moved. Setting up baggies is super simple. The arms grip the raised lip of your can and hangs in position. It can't get easier. The two questions we always get asked are, can baggies hold heavy bags? Do they slip off? And what happens when the bag is full? The clips are designed to securely hold bags in place once clipped on. They prevent heavy bags from slipping off. As you see, it's not going anywhere. The clips are smooth to prevent puncturing or cutting the bag. Always use a quality bag or brand you know well that supports hefty loads. To answer the question of what happens when your bag is full, that's easy. Look here. Pull off the fastening clips and the heavy full bag will drop. We recommend using drawstring bags because you can seal them easily to keep everything nasty inside without leaning over into the bin. And then you can add a new bag. It's that easy. With baggies, you use your bin exactly as you did before and even pack it to its maximum capacity. Minus the inconvenience family members face 
when lifting and dragging trash bags from bin to bin. You're probably thinking, garbage containers come in so many different shapes and sizes. Will baggies work in your bin? Yes, it will. Here's why. Because almost all bins have a raised lip running around the rim of your bin. Baggies grips this raised edge and hangs firmly in position. Now, what if your bin does not have a raised edge? There's absolutely nothing for baggies to hang off. Here's the solution. If your bin does not have a raised lip like this one does, find the position you want to hang baggies on. Your bin has a rim that extends out and over and acts as a handle. It has a gap in between. Drill holes here and put in a screw with a flat head like this one. Baggies is designed to fit on screws and hooks. To avoid any accidents, make sure the tip of the screw is smooth or taped off. You can also stick a clip on but use a strong glue as the clip will need to hold a heavy load. Here is the baggies medium size hanging off heavy duty clips in the 65 gallon bin. And the screw option. Both methods work great and get the job done. Here is a size comparison of the medium and the small in the 65 or 95 or 96 gallon bin. The medium size also fits in the smaller 32 gallon bin. But we recommend using the baggy small for bins ranging from 21 to 35 gallon as it sits higher in the bin. Here's a quick size guide. Baggy small fits bins ranging from 21 to 35 gallon and fits bags from 8 gallon or 30 liters onwards. Baggy's medium fits bins ranging from 35 to 95 gallon or all three sizes the small, medium and large bins and fits bags from 9 gallon or 39 liter onwards. Baggy's medium is our best seller as it fits 13 gallon bags which is the most used bag in North America. The large baggy size fits bins ranging from 50 to 95 gallon or the medium and large bins and fits bags from 20 gallon or 74 liter onwards. Hi, I'm Sean from Baggies and I hope this method helps you to keep your trash cans clean while making waste separation much easier. If you have any questions, suggestions or thoughts, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. We will be bringing you a whole bunch of different tips and tricks to show you how to dispose of waste and recycle correctly wherever you go. So please subscribe, hit the like button and share. We are a startup and looking for all the help possible.